Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a TXC record on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as I said in the beginning of this tutorial is we would like to add a TX T record. So if we want to do that, we'll have to go out for the first of thing is to go to our products page, click at your name at the top right corner, click at my products, which will take you into your products page. From here, you'll find all the domain names that you have in your account. So make sure to locate this domains option and make sure to go into the domain name that you want to add the TXC record on it, and then click at this DNS option. Right? Click on manage, click on DNS. Of course, you can click on manage, then go to the DNS, but it will take some additional steps. Once you are here, as you can see, you will have to look for this DNS records. And once you found it, you can simply click at add, then go here to type, simply choose this TXT. Once you're here, of course, you'll simply have to fill this name, fill the value, and even change the TLL to whatever you want. Of course, you can even make it custom if you didn't like what they have here. Once you finish, click at add record and you'll be good to go. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.